Hey everybody, it's Eddie J on Crypto. Hope you're having a great day. Um, traveling right now, so video format's gonna be a little bit different for the next few days. Um, wanted to hit a few points, came across some, some really cool stuff. So a while ago, I had, uh, I believe on June 8th, uh, told you about how certain you know titans of the financial industry, uh, including uh, Charles Schwab, Citadel Securities, Fidelity Digital Assets, Paradigm, Sequoia Capital, Virtual Financial came together and they were saying, we're going to create this new, you know, digital asset exchange. Well, guess what? Today is the second shoe to drop, which is they actually did it. So they've launched now EDX Markets, which is kind of a big deal. And it, if you recall earlier today, I was talking about how Fidelity was is contemplating creating their own exchange for the trading of Bitcoin. Obviously, it's to capture that you know kind of captive audience that they have with the what excuse me five six trillion dollars in assets under management so all of those customers would be able to trade directly in bitcoin that's a that would be a tremendous move tremendous but here we have this you know conglomeration of large organizations that came to create edx markets that is also a really big move all right so I'm just paying attention to, you know, what kind of things are catching my eye, you know, throughout the day. Um, something else that caught my eye is Linux Foundation wants to tackle a problem. And it actually is a bit of a problem. If you if you do uh, crypto, right, meaning if you hold digital assets, that kind of thing, you probably have several different, sorry, dogs all over the place. Um, near, I think I'm near a dog park at this hotel. Um, seem to be a dog friendly dog friendly spot the the idea is that they actually allow um or they want to create code that would allow the interoperability between wallets and release that code as open source now some people would say oh well that's not a problem they are they're already or there's already open source code out there yes but you're missing the interoperability piece and that is the big deal that's the juicy thing so the the name of the Found new foundation is Open Wallet Foundation, and they're going to work with private company as well as not for profits or non profits to create this solution. And that's what I find to be like crazy cool. Um, something else that I heard came across was the U.S. Treasury Department, and this is a, actually a very big deal. That's kind of it's a little flying under the, underneath the normal person's radar. If you want, if you have digital assets tied up in Tornado Cash, you're going to have to get licensed in order to reclaim your digital assets. Now, if you are a regular person and you're not you don't have anything nefarious going on, you should be able to get your license and get your digital assets back. I'm pretty sure probably with a couple of questions, you know, why were you using Tornado Cash, you know, blah 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 blah. Um, but if you were nefarious and you've got digital assets tied up there, you got problems. <laughs> right? That that this is a clear way you know, to kind of sift out all the good people, right? Get rid of all the good people. Go get you, go get your digital assets. It's all good. But if you're a bad person, th this is going to be bad. Th this is not going to bode well. So I'm interested to see how this actually plays that plays out. Now, the last one is actually the juiciest one to me. Just look at the headline. Just look at this headline. SEC's Gensler holds firm that existing laws make sense for crypto. Now this this reporter uh, Nikolesh Nikol I'm I'm butchering this man's name or this person's name I am so sorry I apologize now Nikolesh um, D I don't know if it's D or Day but wow great opportunity for this for this reporter to actually sit down with Gary Gensler even virtually to have this conversation but more importantly I find it amaze balls that Gary Gensler would think that you know. The existing laws make sense for crypto. They don't. Why do you think everybody is clamoring for guardrails, for transparency, for regulation and legislation that actually fits the space? There's a saying, 50,000 Frenchmen can't be wrong. And I think the reason why he's having this much of a battle or making statements like this is because all he wants to do is continue his tyranny over the cryptoverse the guy needs to go he needs to find a new job he needs to be helped out the door al along with his other guy uh Gorb Gorb what's this guy's name let me see if i can look this up for you real quick 
Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. That I think it was in the second video today. Um, oh, I'm at a loss. Oh no, Gurbier Gru Gru Gensler and his whole clan need to go get a new another job. They need to go take many seats elsewhere. Elsewhere. No kind of pragmatic approach, just constant. Take action, take action, takes action, and just continue hammering the crypto sphere. Just really cut it out. Anyway, we know this was a horrible day. Um, and we know that the CPI numbers hit and it made for a bad day for the normal stock markets, right? And and we know this. Let's go update, you know, the data source to see the biggest winners and losers. Uh, losers are heavy, winners are almost none. Let's just, you know, take that as, you know, we knew it. Um, Kronos took a heavy hit, 13, down 13%. Near Protocol down, you know, down 11%. Flow down 11%. Uh, you're talking about projects that really have things going on that, that took hits. Okay. Could have been bigger hits. I, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say it out loud. I, I said it. I'll say it again. They, they could have taken bigger hits. They didn't. Okay? Right? Fear and greed index still at 34. I'm expecting tomorrow it'll be, it'll be, it'll be way down. You know, right now it's in fear. I'm pretty sure it'll be back in extreme fear tomorrow. Um, when you look at uh, crypto right now, we're just hovering above $20,000 for Bitcoin. Um, that's a major, major, major drop. A major drop. After you know coming back from the previous drop, it, this is this is not beautiful. It's not beautiful at all. You have Ethereum at below sixteen hundred. Not happy about that, but imagine where it could have been. Ethereum's down six point eight two percent. BTC is down nine point seven seven percent. I will tell you this: I'm expecting a huge pop once the merge happens. Maybe not huge. But a really good one, I'll tell you that. You're talking about um, the ability for a proof of stake network to, to use 90% less, greater than 90% 90 less power. So it's energy efficient. That makes the environment better. Everything. There's just everything oh so good about it. So there, there, there are things to discuss here. And if you pay attention to some of the numbers, some of these numbers where you know these coins took a hit, if you notice where they are, yes, they took a hit, but they took a hit from the from the highs that they had, right? And they're not to the established lows. So that, to me, is a positive sign. On a day like today, I take that as a positive sign. Frankly, I think that, you know, the crypto sphere should be, you know, decoupled from the stock market because the, because the crypto sphere is where you want to be if the stock market takes a hit. Like, what are you going to do? Put your money in gold? Cut it out. Oh, oh, I'm not logged in. Don't you hate when that happens? Absolutely hate when that happens. So we'll drag this over, line it up, boom, and it'll log us in. So like I said, everybody's taking a hit in the red, but I'm looking for things to come across very well, right? Um, H bar is supposed to be traded on Coinbase. Hasn't gotten there yet. I am expecting a positive, a positive hit when that happens. Um, think about this. It's at six point five cents right now. Hedera hash, hash graph. It's at six point five cents right now, down from seven cents. Not that much of a hit. I'm, I'm, I just want to say that it's it's a ten percent deduction. But if you look at where they were. Not that much of a hit. The crypto versus is actually responding pretty doggone well. So we should take heed to what's going on there. Anyway, this is Eddie J on crypto. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, you know, you like the journey that my kids and kids and I are on, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and absolutely hit the notification bell so you know whenever I'm dropping a new bill, a new video rather. Have a great one. Bye bye.